Wales and once again the news flash sharing with you all the catches from all over Southern Africa. Now we're receiving hordes of it and I want to thank everybody for sending in the catches, even our Australian, American, Singapore, European viewers and especially all the South African viewers which uh, obviously most of the catches come from. Thank you very much for sending them in. Now remember you can send all your catches, even videos taken with your cell phone to grindelite at asfn.co.za. Now guys, this is part two for week 19, already part two, and there's a whole bunch of catches. So have a look, because the fish are coming out apparently everywhere, where I'm not. But uh, that's great to see that there's quite a bit of uh, fish coming out. In any case, I'm leaving this afternoon to go fish in our north coast. And uh, really looking forward to it. Hope the weather plays along so that we can get some nice scratching fish, especially going out for some edibles. Now thank you for JK Martins our first catches of this week and he had quite a unique little session at Biffles Bay in the Southern Cape. He got three types of cat sharks in one session of which the biggest was the 80 centimeter striped cat shark followed by a couple of leopard sharks and then also backing that up with some spotted cat sharks. That's a mouthful but well done on that great catch. As bait JK used some sardine baits some of them flat with chocker and some of them without on an 8 mustard hook. Next up is John Ray Petersee. Now he's caught a couple of unique species which uh, we'll run you through now. So the location was mulled in as Muscat Omen. Could be a spot in the PE area or maybe it's international. Not 100% sure. Three species. A juvenile queenfish, a flute mouth and a harmer. And he caught these fish on his BG, Diver BG 5000 reel with 20 pound jaybreak. Now guys, here's a, a really unique catch. What a fantastic catch. Jacques Leroux from PE. Jacques caught a St. Joseph of over eight kilos, measuring at 101 centimeters. That's a gigantic Joseph, St. Joseph and really a great catch. I haven't seen one that big, so well done on that. Next up, Stephen Smith from Hum to his mouth in the Southern Cape. Stephen was rewarded with two really great cop. One of 13 kilos and one of 14.2 kilos. He caught on live mullet using his Dawa Salters 50. Next up we're joining Irshad Shaikh and he was fishing in Durban Harbour of a boat. Irshad got rewarded with a really, really nice size grunter. Irshad was using a seven foot rod with his KP and 15 pound Maxima line. This grunter took him 15 minutes to land. It must have been awesome fun on the KP. And a familiar face by now, Lawson Money Lull got another PB Grey Shark. This time around, the Grey Shark was 161 centimeters. Well done on that. Now next up, I wanna send a personal greeting to Josh Meyer, one of our very active subscribers on our channel. And uh, I've, I've been receiving messages from Josh over the last year. So thank you very much for your input, your feedback, and Josh, everything you're sharing with us. In fact, Josh come, came from Cape Town to Kingfisher, and he met Mark Dyer there. Josh, I wanna personally congratulate you on a nice garrick you got in Cape Town. And then some more catches from Linton Premlal, one of our ambassadors, Daiwa ambassadors in Zululand. Now, one thing you must understand about Linton, what I got to know, is Linton almost fishes every day, after work, at night, he just fishes and fishes and fishes and every now and again he'll send us some photos when I'm on his back about it because he's fishing all the time. Now what he does when he's scratching off the reefs at, at Cape Vital and here's two nice catches as a catface record and a yellow belly. But he has taken his Diver Salters 5000, not his 8000 and he's matched that up on his 15 foot grind elite. And he's been catching most of the fish like that, all these edible fish and scratching fish. He also gave me feedback that this is casting a mile, something I really want to try. And he's put up a challenge and said that he guarantees he'll lie, he'll, he's going to land a big sand shark, a giant guitar fish, when the summer comes again at the end of the year on that exact set, setup using the 5000 Dawa Salters. Now I was fortunate enough to get that 60 kilo diamond on the 5000 but using a much smaller rod so i'm quite confident that the reel might be able to handle it but as we all know a giant sand shark is probably one of our stronger fighters we work from the side so i want to see that happen so linton i think everybody out there wants to see that happen 
All right, guys, now to finish this off this week, we've got a really special video, which I find very special. I'm sure all of you guys and all the viewers out there is gonna find this really special off our coastline, which Marcus Portgitter, one of our ambassadors, Dao ambassadors, sent in this week. Have a look at this. It's absolutely awesome to see these enormous, magnificent creatures that so gracefully move through the ocean right under your paddle ski. That must have been an awesome experience. And yes, the Dawa hat fits. If the hat fits, wear it. Right, everybody, once again, thank you from all over the world where we're getting catches from. Uh, for all our viewers and subscribers, remember that you can send your catches to Grinder Elite, Grinder Elite at asfn.co.za. Make sure you stay subscribed on both channels, King Fisher and ASFN. And you can also take videos with your cell phone. Remember to turn it horizontal. It's easier for us to use. And uh, take some fishing videos. Whatever it is, there's always action out there. And send them in.